this is the witch's brew I mix with my fuel. It's two cycle, low ash, or no ash, uh, oil from Walmart. Pridey fuel treatment and Biobore JF. This is what I do. I'm not saying this is what you should do. It's what I do. Remember, my engine is pre emissions. So, exhaust goes through the turbo, through the muffler, up the pipe. No catalyst, no SCR, no def, no nothing. And my engine was built back when there was higher sulfur in the diesel when sulfur was used as lubricity lubrication agent that's what I use the two cycle for and these other two just keeps the fuel stable it's what I do and it works for me if you think I'm a moron or wasting money that's fine let me waste my money I'm just showing you what I do but the way I do it that's a gallon um, you can go 100 to 1 200 to 1 I go 150 to 1 so that's the ratio I mix it at so this is going to treat 150 gallons so I've already got this I've got an ounce of biobore in here. That treats 120 gallons. And if I want to add 30 more, half an ounce. Oh, let's see, 100, 120 is, so one ounce treated 40, okay. So there's 40. Now I'm good for 80 gallons. Hundred and twenty gallons. And it did have so that's about 150 gallons. So bio bores in there. This Add one ounce to 16 gallons. Let's see if I can do my math here. So there is 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, 128, 144 good enough and then I bought this at Walmart so I'll mix this stuff up use this throw it in the fuel tank works for me don't have any problems with it um, and if you look on the diesel stop or just look up um, fuel lubricity study those guys chipped in money and they tested like if I can find I'll find the link for it and I'll put it in the, in the description of the video but this old two cycle oil from Walmart came out pretty dang good and a lot of stuff you think is good actually hurt lubricity it helped the cetane and all that which I don't care about I care about lubricity and keeping my fuel stable because it gets stored a lot you know this bus I got 200 gallons in there and I'll, go, I'll always fill it up for a park which is something you should always do so you don't have any air air pocket on top of the fuel prevent moisture but um, my fuel sits for a long time I don't burn through it I burn through it in chunks so it'll sit there for three three four months and I'll burn through it and it'll sit there and so I don't like that um, I'm just doing what I can do to keep my fuel good and my motor happy it works for me and it works for the bus too
Thanks. And topping it off. Gave the dude 300 bucks. I don't think I'm going to use that much. I think my guess is about 80 gallons. But who knows? And I don't even know if you can hear me with all this wind. So, I'll come back when we're all done. I'm not going to feel putting that in because I can't do it in one hand. But I'll put it in. We'll see what my mileage is. Okay, mileage is 151, 181, 54 point something gallons, and it looks like the mileage this time was 5.9, which I'm not, that's about right, because I've been running the generator the whole time, and man, it's just been beating into the wind, so, uh, I don't know off the hand, but in this video, I'll go and look at my historical fuel -y stuff and throw it in there, in case anybody's interested. Now it's time to eat a truck stop chicken finger and get back to the ranch and put this thing to bed. See ya.